A citywide cleanup today, those who help the homeless, picking up trash and spreading awareness about the problem of homelessness here in Spokane. The cleanup all part of World Homeless Day, which falls on October 10th each year. It came with a reminder that the homeless are human. Our hot camera working for you tonight with a look at the message volunteers had for the homeless as well as those who encountered them. Hawk. Well, Aaron, for perspective here, around 600 homeless individuals spend the night in a shelter here in Spokane, while hundreds of others overnight outside. The message that Union Gospel Mission would like to spread is look past what you see on the outside when you see a homeless individual and see the human on the inside. I drank a lot. I have three kids that I didn't, I was checked out for. I, I didn't even know them and it was miserable. Charity McAfee has had her fair share of struggles. Crashing couches, um, going house to house, not having a job. But says her experience with homelessness isn't something that defines her and shouldn't define anyone else. A homeless is, could be a veteran, it could be anyone that just had hard times and just doesn't know how to get back up on their feet. Sometimes all it takes is a little help from an organization like Spokane's Union Gospel Mission to change a life. That's what happened to Charity, who under the guidance of UGM's Phil Altmeyer, has turned her life around. There's individuals behind homelessness. To prove it and to send a message of hope, he joined almost 200 others in a citywide cleanup, many of them having dealt with their own homelessness, but ended it with the help of organizations like UGM. So we're hoping that we can create some awareness and encourage people to come into shelters and get the help that they need. Which is important, he says, because Spokane's homelessness has changed. He says he's seen more and more people not coming to shelters, choosing instead to live outdoors, something that has to be stopped but can't be forced. Either way, Altmeyer says it's important to not give up on the ones who are looking for a helping hand. Many have chosen to go to the shelters to get the help. Let's help them. A different outlook can make all the difference. Don't be so judgmental. Don't label, you know, everyone has hard times. Just some have worse than others. And it's an effort that city leaders were supporting today. They were out helping clean up the city. This all after they recently announced a joint program with Goodwill that will uh, pick up homeless individuals that would like to earn a small stipend and get a meal for doing tasks like weeding, uh, cleaning up around town. Uh, that program is expected to kick off in January. The city is going to pitch in $37,000 for it. Reporting live in downtown Spokane tonight, I'm Hawk Hammer, KXLY4 News. Hawk, thank you.